All right, welcome back to our report. Again, if you'll recall, um, we're listing out sales transactions and we're trying to only show rows where the sh uh, ship to country region code was Great Britain. In the last example, we used a conditional hide to say if this value says GB, then show the row and if it doesn't, hide it. And we said that's a sloppy filtering technique because it lists out 96 rows to only end up with 22 valid values. Um, and so what we're going to do now is we're going to explore how can I actually filter on the sales shipment header table. Now the million dollar question that we need to answer is are we going from one to many or are we going from many to one? In this instance we're going from the item ledger which has many transactions um, to one sales shipment header. We're doing the many to one model. So in this instance, it would be most appropriate to use the NL filter technique. All right, so what does that look like? In my report, you know, I'll, I'll make a, a section called, let's say, valid sales shipment headers. I need to make a list of valid sales shipment header numbers. And so hypothetically, okay, I end up with A, B, C, B, D, E, A, R, F. These are the valid sales shipment numbers. And I'll use that to filter my NL rows function. I'll say, well, only list item ledger entries where the document number is one of these valid sales shipment headers. Okay, now obviously ABC is not a valid sales shipment header, so how do I get that? Let me change the order of this. I like to put the filters below. Okay, so here I'm going to use an NL filter. And again, what we're going to do here is we're going to use NL filter to create a filter from the resulting data to use in another NL filter function. What I like, that, that doesn't really tell me anything. What I like to think of it is, is I'm going to make a list or a set of valid sales shipment header document numbers. I need a list uh, from the sales shipment header of valid document numbers. Now, what is the definition of valid? Well, a valid sales shipment header is one where the ship to country region code was Great Britain. I guess I could get even more specific. Don't give me all the sales shipment headers that went out to Britain. I really only want the ones where the posting date was in the date range of my report, um, which was, you know, year to date, I suppose. All right. So when I evaluate this, I should get a list in, a, in an array. I should get an array of valid sales shipment header numbers. And that's going to be this gobbledygook here. Now, this doesn't mean anything to us. But when I pass it into my Jet Essentials report as a filter criteria, it's going to say, oh, yeah, this is you know ABC, pipe BED, pipe DEF. When I run my report now, notice in my um, NL first function, my lookup, I only have sales shipments that went to Great Britain. And instead of replicating you know, 96 rows to end up with a set of 22, I just have the 22 valid sales shipment documents. So this was an example of using NL filter, which is the proper way to filter on another table when you're going from many to one.